When we first started teaching guys about that, it was all about mindset. It was all about beliefs. It was all about your intention. To me now, it's all about your, your health. When you're really on point, you're eating clean, you're eating healthy, I believe your energy comes up. And I believe there's a certain point where your energy hits where you get your life mission. Because when I was really cranking, and I pretty much know where it is, but when I'm really cranking, like it's like it activates that higher level in your brain, you have more energy and you start seeing your vision. And I think a lot of people are just so low on energy that they're cutting corners and they're just trying to get by with their energy. So it's it's the same thing if you're in a remote control car, the battery's dead, you're it's like, you know, yeah. you have a full battery, you're like, ah, jump in, it's like, that's the difference. But you just said uh, uh, something that I've always thought was important, I want to I kind of make sure they, the audience understands that you guys uh, get this, that uh, the importance of eating healthy is not just to be healthy. If you're changing your mind, your social uh, uh, social scientist in a sense, you really want to work with your mind, you really want to change the way you think, and you really want to build up, maybe more confidence, more awareness, more depth of feeling. Uh, how important is eating healthy? I, I, you know, it's funny because when I first started teaching guys about that, I think it was all about mindset. It was all about beliefs. It was all about your intention. To me now, it's all about your your health. Because of the fact, when I feel good, I'm radiating. Like, I'm, I'm alive. I feel good. I'm, I'm energized. And that's attractive. You know, when you're doing that, like other people kind of go, yeah, I feel pretty good too. So I think that really comes down to now, I really center a lot about that. Yeah, I can go and teach all the other stuff and things like this, but when you really feel good and you have energy and you wake up out of bed and you're inspired, that's attractive. And you're doing your own thing. And when I said you're on that vision, you're on that purpose, you know, people follow. People yeah. want to follow. If you feel shitty, it's like your energy is sucking in. I don't want to be a vampire to anybody. Yeah. You know what I mean, like, I, know, okay. I don't want to be taken. I want to be, you know, shower. I want to be like overflowing. So when the person's in my presence, it's like, cool. It's already random and it's, uh, a very powerful thing because think about what, 7.2 billion people on the planet and we're having interaction right now. You, what are the odds of that? Pretty low, ultimately. You know? I mean, I could be talking, like, who knows, what are the odds that I'd be born on this part of the world, this close to you, we'd end up meeting several times throughout our lives, and then, yeah, it is pretty low. When you think about how many times... What are the odds of you being two really cool men? Yeah. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah, I know. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Inspired. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, right, getting radiating yeah. from the side, yeah. side. And then you start relating things of yourself and identifying yourself with people yeah. and the things that you want to get to know. Yeah. Like but, but when you try to feel yourself well and, and you combine this with with exercise and and you can not only clean your body but your mind and then therefore your spirit and then there's when you start inspiring others, inspiring others. Yeah. And then that's what I get to see from you to this. You know, I personally believe beliefs are very important, but if you've got a healthy, clean diet and a clean energy in your body, those beliefs change so much easier. So much easier. You're just radiating at a different <clears throat> frequency. Like right where the sliding doors are, just pulled my car right in there, just sat there. The manager comes down and he's like, what are you doing? And I go, parking. I'm like, do know. You can't park here. Yes, I can. You know, you can't, you know, that went on. And that could be looked at as the guy's being an asshole. It could be. Okay, it could be, you know. At that point in time, like I said, that's that's what I wanted to do is go against the grain, like learn how not to do that. What would it be like to be the master at the art of creating sexual tension with women? To be so good that you don't even think about it. You just do it because that's who you are.